I see her rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats no. In this episode, we discuss an incident that rocked the world of motorcycle racing at the Mandalica Circuit, where a motorcycle caught fire during a race. This dramatic moment not only shocked spectators at the circuit, but also made headlines on social media and sports news. Mark Marquez, one of the leading riders and a fan favorite, could not hide his disappointment with the marshal's inadequate equipment to deal with this dangerous situation. What exactly happened during this fire incident? How did the teams and race organizers handle the emergency? In this video, we'll explore the details of the incident, from the start of the race to the shocking moment of the fire. We'll also analyze the impact of this incident on safety at other circuits, as well as what steps need to be taken to ensure a similar incident doesn't happen again. We will hear from experts and commentators on what can be improved in terms of safety equipment and procedures. In addition, we will present reactions from fans and other riders who were affected by this incident. Let's explore together how the world of motorcycle racing has adapted to this challenge and what we can expect in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video so that more people can get this interesting information. Thank you for watching and happy viewing. And here's the full story. Mark Marquez had another nightmare at the 2024 Indonesian MotoGP. This time his bike was even badly burned due to the lack of equipment of the marshals at the Mandalika circuit. Again and again, Marquez had a race that ended badly at the Indonesian MotoGP. The eight-time world champion again failed to finish during the main race at the Mandalika circuit, Lombok, West Nusa Tenggara, on Sunday, September 29, 2024. This is the third consecutive failed finish for Marquez since the Indonesian GP returned to the calendar of the most prestigious motorcycle racing event in 2022. In the 2022 season, Marquez was unable to take part in the race due to an accident in the warm-up session which caused him to suffer a mild concussion. As for this year, Marquez's misery is even more miserable because he had to end his race due to engine failure on his Ducati Desmosetasi GP23. Marquez's bike caught fire and he had to leave it on the side of the track. Sadly, after that moment, Marquez was disappointed with the handling of the marshals on guard at the circuit. Marquez was seen calling for a number of marshals to hurry up after realizing the fire extinguisher used was not working. Marquez's bike, which was already on fire, ended up getting worse until the marshals finally managed to put out the fire. There was a loud noise from the bike and also the engine died, Marquez said in the post-race media scrum, quoted by Crash.net. I as soon as I saw the white smoke coming out, I stopped immediately and it's a pity because the fire extinguisher that was there was not the right one. The bike was completely damaged, everything the brakes. This is unfortunate because for an independent team like us, this is a big loss, he complained. Grazini is indeed a Ducati satellite team and not a team that has the most luxurious budget if you look at the old motorcycle support they receive. The 31-year-old rider clearly hopes that such an incident will not be repeated. Because the readiness of the equipment is one of the most important things that the Marshall crew should really prioritize. However, the most important thing is that the fire extinguisher must be of the right type, or the most up-to-date technology, said Marquez. If not, then we actually damage the bike, he said. Marquez actually did not really go home empty-handed on his visit to the archipelago. The third podium result in the sprint was a consolation for the world champion racer who is struggling to return to his best performance. However, the growing points gap with race winner Jorge Martin, Prima Pramac, made Marquez sad. Marquez believes that without the engine damage, he could have chased the third position taken by Francesco Bagnai at Ducati Lenovo. Yes, for that reason of course I feel sad. However, I have said that my target has been achieved, said Marquez. So my target from Mizano or Aragon, during the press conference, I already decided that it would be the next target, which is to find consistency in the race. That's what we did in the last few races. Okay, this time we made mistakes, but trying to find consistency. On the other hand, 
Grazzini racing rider Mark Marquez just resigned himself to having to return home without points from the Indonesian MotoGP Grand Prix race at the Mandalika Circuit, Lombok, Sunday, 29-92-2024. Marquez failed to finish due to his Ducati Desmosetasi GP23 motorbike engine exploding. Starting from 12th position, Marquez moved up to 7th on the opening lap. Since then, he has been fighting for 6th position with Peko Bagnaia and Fabio Di Antonio. The trio presented a tense overtaking action before Digia crashed at turn 10 on lap 9. Since then, Marquez has been trying to catch Bagnaia. Unfortunately, his engine suddenly exploded on lap 12. Marquez immediately pulled his bike off the track when he realized his bike was on fire. This is the third time Marquez has had bad luck at Mandalika. Feeling competitive enough? In 2022, Marquez had attended the race week at Mandalika. However, he crashed during a practice session and was diagnosed with a mild concussion and had to withdraw. In 2023, Marquez even missed the Mandalika series entirely due to a diplopia injury to his right eye. It's a shame because we had a good start and we were in a good group where third place was within our reach. Whether we can achieve it or not, we need various supporting factors, he told Marca. Mechanical constraints are common in MotoGP. Marquez himself admitted that he was not really aiming for the podium because finishing fifth was his main target. However, he promised to keep his head together with Grazzini and Ducati to face the Japanese MotoGP at the Motegi circuit on October 4 to 6, 2024. I at least being in the top 5, that is my target, is a challenge. When I win, we win together. When I lose, we lose together. Today we had to face things that can happen in competition, things that are not in the control of you, the team, or Ducati. Because mechanical problems can occur, he concluded. Rolling up, Uber, black Cadillac, high heel boots, and a sexy body full of tats. Baby's bad, oh baby's had a bad. After her, there ain't no coming back. Wanna take a run at that? I think she's feeling me. Turn it up a few degrees. My imagination of her body gets the best of me. Oh God, she's such a tease. Bitten lips, bruised knees. I'm addicted to her, need her touching me. Cause she got a bad little waist, and we tearing down this place. Off the liquor that we chase, got some need us to the face. Baby, I don't need no space. Coming closer for a taste, and I'll show you how I make everything. Everything just fade away cause she's like sex, drugs, 